You see that time? It's almost here, you guys. Hey guys, okay, it is Friday night, a little after 7 p.m., and I am filming my grocery haul, which you are seeing Saturday morning, and while you are watching this, I am on an airplane to go meet for the first time Kira at 50 Shades of Mom. You heard that right. So my hubby is at home with the four kids for a full eight days all on his own. So this was definitely not a low spend week for sure, but I did separate the groceries because I wanted you guys to know what groceries are going for what, if that makes sense. So my husband is going to a Father's Day barbecue with some of my family, so he is taking something. So I have a pile of groceries for that meal. Then I have the groceries for the meal plan that he picked. I'm gonna share with you guys the meal plan as well. And then I have some groceries that I would have picked up if I was staying home and we were doing a stricter version of a low spin. This is all that I would have picked up for this week and the rest I would have eaten what we had on hand because we do have quite a bit of food on hand. So I wanted to separate it just to give you guys a better idea of what could have happened this week and what ended up happening if that makes sense. So I went to HEB and my grand total, I didn't separate everything that just would have taken me too long, but my grand total was $71.50. So first up is the groceries and then the meal plan. All right, you guys, so overall, there it is. And we actually just got home from about a four hour drive back. We were gone for the, for the past two days. So we're all, I didn't mention my hair is a mess. Um, so this right here, is to make a salsa recipe of mine that, well, it's not mine, I got it from my mother, but I've changed a few things, and so this would not have typically been on our meal plan. Two bags of chips, a green bell pepper, four jalapenos, a bunch of green onions, cilantro, and six tomatoes. These were almost $5 um, for the tomatoes alone, so just wanted to share that, so that's completely extra. And then this is everything that has to do with the meal plan this coming week. So this is everything that my husband wanted to have on hand to feed himself and the kiddos while I'm gone. So we got a two pound container of strawberries, my daughter Rose's favorite yogurt, the, Ro the Yo Crunch with M&Ms, some taco shells, two boxes of mac and cheese, a can of Wolf brand chili with beans, some pepperoni slices, another tomato, a head of lettuce, some ballpark beef franks, the bun size, a package of the Nor Fiesta Sides Mexican rice, a bag of Hill Country Fair traditional shoestring french fries, and two pizzas. Both of these are Red Baron. One of them is for cheese pizza, and the other one is for meat pizza. So this is everything that was extra that my husband wanted on the meal plan. Then, this is what I would have picked up if I was staying home. This is the only thing, and some of these are only because they're just staples in our house and we ran out. So actually all of these are just staples. So we always pick up a container of orange juice. I stopped picking up the more expensive one. The kids are loving this just HEB brand, the calcium and vitamin D no pulp. So I just continue to pick this up. I did go ahead and pick up two gallons of milk just because I am gonna be gone for eight full days and I know we're gonna run out or they're gonna run out of milk before I get home. So I got two gallons of milk, some creamy peanut butter because we're completely out, canola oil, which actually I wouldn't have picked this up just because we're out because I only use this for a couple recipes and one of those recipes is the salsa. So I should have kept that over with the salsa. But anyway, canola oil, completely out of American sliced cheese singles. So we picked up the Kraft singles. There's 16 in here. Out of butter, this is one thing that we just choose to pay more for because we love the Kerrygold butter. So we needed that. And then we're out of shredded cheese and we use this for all sorts of stuff. Our eggs in the morning, salads, all just all sorts of stuff. So I went ahead and got a smaller bag, Hill Country Fair, finely shredded a Mexican blend. So this is the only thing like our staples that I would have picked up and not all of that. And then one extra thing, I'm actually taking this with me because I need this for a recipe and this specific wine. Um, and 
I've only been able to find it in HEB other than ordering it and I didn't want to pay, you know, like $20 in shipping. So it is the Dulcis Moscato Diosti. Oh, wait until you guys see this recipe. It is so yummy. Okay, so a quick note before we go into the meal plan is if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I share my grocery hauls on Saturdays. However, next Saturday, I am not gonna be home until after 10 p.m. So I'm not gonna go to the grocery store for the following week until Sunday. So I will upload my grocery haul on Sunday along with the meal plan for the week that I get home. So I'm not gonna skip it, I'm still gonna share it, it's just gonna be a day late. So let's get into the meal plan that my husband totally picked. Here we go. So I put breakfast for every single morning, cereal or Pop-Tarts, because that's just what we have on hand. My husband might decide to take them out or go pick up donuts or something, but I told him we have plenty of cereal and plenty of Pop-Tarts. So if he decides to deviate from this plan, that's all on him. So Sunday lunch is gonna be peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Dinner is actually, this is where he's going to a barbecue with my family and he is taking chips and salsa and they'll have all sorts of barbecue foods there for them to eat. Monday, they're gonna have chicken nuggets for lunch and I just wrote down the main part of lunch. They typically have some kind of fruit. Um, I didn't worry about vegetables this week because the kids are, they just do a little bit better when I'm around for lunchtime, so I didn't worry about that. Normally it's like carrots or cucumbers, but I just was like, let's just do strawberries all week. Um, and then something extra like a cookie or chips or something like that. So I just wrote down the main thing just so you guys aren't like, they're only getting chicken nuggets. No, they're getting extra stuff, but it was just easier for me. So anyway, chicken nuggets. Dinner is gonna be tacos and the Mexican rice bag. Tuesday for lunch is mac and cheese. Dinner is gonna be fried rice and wontons. These are actually the mini cilantro wontons that we picked up from Costco a while ago, and that bag is so big that we still have some, so they're gonna try to finish it off. Wednesday is gonna be a Nutella sandwich. Yep, my kids love Nutella. Nutella sandwich, and then dinner is gonna be chili dogs and fries. Thursday, I did a, a lot, <laughs> I say a lot, He's gonna do what he wants, but I did add in one day of eating out for lunch because I figured he would do that. Um, he might change this up though. You know, I just made sure there was one on here and we didn't have too much extra food on hand. So one day to eat out for lunch. I did put leftovers for dinner because I feel like the fried rice, the tacos um, are going to make leftovers and the chili dogs because I think this is a, how many dogs are in here? Are there eight in here? One, two, three, four, yeah, there's eight in here and there's gonna be five of them. So unless they have more than one, they're gonna have leftovers. And then Friday, I put ramen. I actually ordered this from Holler. It's a soy sauce ramen for lunch and then pizza for dinner. Saturday is a homemade Lunchable and then I did put an eat out for dinner as well so he can eat out, you know, he's got two eat out days in here. Whether he uses those for two lunches or two dinners, whatever, he's got plenty of things to pick from that are super easy for him and these are all meals that the kids enjoy. All right guys, oh my hair is sticking straight up. Like I said, just got home from over four hours in the car. Anyway, Thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out my grocery haul. I say my grocery haul. This is totally my husband and my kids' grocery haul for the next week while mommy is out of town. I am going to be using my community tab, so if you are new, I would love for you to subscribe, hit the bell, say that you want all my notifications, my videos, my posts, all of that if you want to keep tabs on me while I'm on vacation because I'm going to be using that community tab to post pictures and all sorts of fun stuff while I am out of town meeting some girlfriends of mine that I've never met before. So again, thanks for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.